As we reported last night, one of the kidnapped victims is 20-year-old Andy Probst of Lebanon, Oregon. David Wilson reports tonight on the efforts to bring Andy home. A demand was given to uh, the Mormon church that uh, two of their missionaries would, uh, would be harmed, if not uh, killed, if ransom of $300,000 was not paid. Senator Gordon Smith fears for the lives of 20-year-old Andy Probst of Lebanon and 20-year-old Travis Tuttle of Gilbert, Arizona. Smith met with President Clinton, urging his staff to pressure the Russian government into finding the young Mormon missionaries. They assured me that they are doing and will continue to do as much as they possibly can to focus the attention of this government uh, on the situation and to employ the services of the Russian government to resolve the situation. According to a spokesperson for the family, Prop spent the last 11 months ministering to the Russian people from the Samar mission in Saratov, Russia, a city located about 500 miles southeast of Moscow. Recent photos show Prop's posing happily with his Russian students. He and his companions have worked in orphanages, caring for the poor, and teaching them English. The Props family's last contact with Andy was by fax a week ago. They learned early Thursday morning that he had been kidnapped. It's an emotional time for the family. They're, they basically feel helpless, uh, just sitting here annoying uh, that their son's in some uh, a predicament and they can't do a whole lot about it. The Mormon church is asking its 3,000 members in the Mid-Willamette Valley to pray and fast for Props and Tuttle's safe return. The Props family puts its faith in God. We have placed this matter into the hands of the Lord and have faith that he will return Andy and, and his companion home safely. In Lebanon, David Wilson, Oregon's News 12.